Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a very nice problem from a math competition. This is from a book, an Olympiad book uh, that was written in Russian. I'll try to share the title with you uh, if I remember, hopefully. Anyways, I have a copy of the book and I was looking through some of the problems. They're really nice uh, and this is not too hard. So basically, uh, we can safely assume that the denominator here divides the numerator. So we don't want any remainders and we want to simplify this. So the result is going to be a polynomial. Let me say that first so that you know what to expect, okay? So I'll be presenting two methods and the first method is probably going to be a little bit more painful. It's going to take a little long because it's called long division. So whenever you're trying to divide a polynomial by another polynomial, you can just divide without getting into the nitty gritty of algebra. Okay, so here's how it works. Uh, the way you write it actually depends on where you live, but in the United States, uh, this is how we express division. So now uh, we're gonna basically divide x to the eighth plus x to the fourth plus one by that, but this is how we write it because this basically means that we're dividing x squared plus x plus one into x to the eighth plus x to the fourth plus one. Does that make sense? So we're gonna be looking at it this way. How many times does x squared go into x to the eighth? And you can do that by dividing x to the 8th by x squared, which is you're going to find x to the 6th power. Make sense? It makes sense, right? Obviously. And now the next step is going to be multiplying x to the 6th by this by using the distributive property. So I'm just going to explain the process once and then hopefully we can continue to use it. And then when you distribute the whole thing, you're going to get x to the 8th plus x to the 7th. Remember, you're multiplying it by x next and then plus x to the 6th. Now you've got to subtract these two expressions. But to subtract, we're going to need to negate the second one, minus, 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 and then add. That's going to be subtraction. So these two are going to cancel out. We're going to end up with, and always write the highest power first in standard form, negative x to the 7 minus x to the 6 plus x to the 4th. And then, of course, there's a plus 1, which we're not going to use right away. If you want, you can hold on to it, or you can bring it down later. Or you can include it and just keep writing it. Doesn't matter, no big deal. Now we're gonna check whether x squared goes into x to the seventh. I mean negative x to the seventh. And it does, and it's negative x to the fifth times. We're gonna distribute, as you know, we're distributing in negative terms, so be careful about that. And then we have to negate next. As you know, we already talked about this. This is gonna cancel out, this is gonna cancel out. We're gonna end up with x to the fifth plus x to the fourth. And then, uh, now we can bring down the 1 because we do need 3 terms. Uh, x squared goes into x to the 5th, x to the 3rd times. And we're going to distribute that. x to the 5th plus x to the 4th plus x cubed. And now we're going to negate minus, minus, minus. Add them up. Cancel these out. And we're going to end up with negative x cubed plus 1. <laughs> does it go? It obviously does. You probably should know this. This comes from difference of 2 cubes with the negative sign. It's kind of like the negation. That's going to go negative x times, right? And then that should give you negative x cubed uh, minus x squared and then minus x. Okay, cool. Now we're going to negate one more time and we're going to add these two things and we're going to end up with x squared plus x plus 1, which is perfect because that's the divisor. Beautiful. It's just going to go once and ta-da, we're done. And you're going to get the same thing. Once you get the same thing, you know that after negation, they're going to cancel out completely. And that means the remainder is going to be zero, which means the numerator evenly uh, is, is evenly divisible by the denominator or the denominator divides the numerator. Make sense? Something like that. Okay, great. What does that mean? It means that our expression, now let's go ahead and write this. Of course, we need to write the result in a meaningful way. We had x to the 8th plus x to the 4th plus 1 divided by x squared plus x plus 1. And the result is x to the 6th, I kind of need to copy that, minus x to the 5th plus x cubed minus x plus 1. Let's see if I remember correctly. Yes, I did. So that should be the answer. And as you can see here, there's no remainder. There shouldn't be because that's how the problem is designed so that it's evenly divisible. Yes, it's this is a long process and I know some people don't like it and I don't like it either and I can't blame you for that. But the thing is, if you know that the numerator is divisible by the denominator, then this is a guaranteed method because all you have to do is keep track of numbers 
and it's actually it takes a long time but some methods take long to do but uh, they're kind of easier to do so it's kind of like a kind of like a safe way to do it okay so and this is normal because we got a hexic equation we divided eighth power by second power so everything checks out if you really want to check your work i mean go to the extreme uh, you can multiply these two things and that should give you the numerator which is basically how division is defined right great so this is basically the first method i hope you like it we have another method which i'm going to present now uh, and that will be the second method and usually the second method in my videos is nicer than the first one. It seems to be, or it's meant to be more elegant. But again, it's up to you, whichever method you like, you know, it's totally up to you. And please let us know which method you like better, obviously. And if you know of a third way to do this problem by manipulating, uh, of course, it has to be different from both of these methods. Uh, let us know in the comment section because I'd be curious to know. And I'm pretty sure everybody else would be curious to know. So let's go ahead and talk about the second method and let's see how that goes. So you're probably thinking, okay, if we can get a nice polynomial answer, then there must be a way to uh, factor the numerator. Don't you think so? And yes, there is. There's actually a really nice way to do it. And it's kind of repetitive, which is good because you kind of get to use the same concept twice. Anyways, let me, let me clarify what I'm talking about. So this expression is very special. By the way, if you want, you can replace x to the fourth with something like t and then use substitution, but I don't recommend it. I'd like you to stay with the octic uh, polynomial, the eighth degree, because that's, uh, it's better that way. So now here's what we're going to do. We're going to turn this into a perfect square. In other words, uh, we're going to complete the square. But in a different way, we're going to add x to the fourth. And you know why? Because that makes this a perfect square. You can see that hopefully, right? And then of course, whatever you add, you have to subtract so you don't really change the equation, okay? Now we have this minus that. And now here's the thing. This is the fun part. X to the eighth plus two, X to the fourth plus one minus X to the fourth. Now we can write this as X to the fourth plus one squared minus X squared squared. Awesome. What is this? Dots, right? Difference of two squares. Hopefully you remember that. Now, this can be factored as x to the fourth plus x squared plus one. By the way, I switched the order. I wanted to write this in standard form. This is how it can be factored, but that's not it because we can still do it with this one. Look at that. Same idea. Take this and then add x squared and subtract it. And now you got a perfect square, which is x squared plus one squared, because it's going to be x to the fourth plus two x squared plus one. You see the same pattern, and this is just x squared. Again, this is difference of two squares. So it can be written as this times that. Notice that I'm putting the x in the middle, so everything is in standard form. Beautiful. This is our cortic, this one. And we have another cortic. Let's go ahead and put those in the denom uh, numerator, because this is the octic, right? This is my numerator. So I'm gonna put the factored form first. And the other one is not factorable, by the way. Just leave it like that, okay? And that's fine. And that will be x to the fourth minus x squared plus one. You can subtract x squared and add it, but addition will not really give you difference of two squares. You do need a difference. And at the bottom, as you know, we have x squared plus x plus one. And this is just perfect because notice that x squared plus x plus one is a common factor it'll cancel out. So that's the answer. And it's even better than the first method because it's in factored form. But if you don't want to <laughs> use the factored form, you can go ahead and distribute x to the fourth minus x to the sixth minus x to the fourth plus x squared minus x to the fifth plus x cubed minus x plus x to the fourth minus x squared plus one. And then from here, x to the fourth cancels out, x to the second cancels out. And we end up with, uh oh, something else should cancel out. Did I, did we mess, make a mistake? Oh, maybe that's the answer. No, never mind. <laughs> what am I talking about? The answer is supposed to be like that. And yes, that will be the same, exact same answer. And if you use Desmos, I don't know if I included the solution from Wolfram Alpha or Desmos. Yes, I did. Great. Awesome. This is from Wolfram Alpha. Good job. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.